Sports and Entertainment News. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done in my life. Oh, Lara George talks about her plans for 2015. Tell us more. on the local scene new video by GT the guitar man cool down Ember Entertainment presents the official video for this banging club tune cool down off his newly released 16 tracker sophomore bait the video is directed by Adams Gold and features cameo appearances from comedians Omo Baba and MC Abey. Now to the foreign scenes. Star Wars Boba Fett figure sells for £18,000 at auction. A Star Wars toy that cost £1.5 when it came out 35 years ago has sold at auction for £18,000. The figure of bounty hunter Boba Fett was put up for auction by Craig Stevens from Croydon who is a former chairman of the UK Star Wars fan club. He bought the figure still in its original packaging for £50 in 1990. A further 69 lots of his Star Wars memorabilia sold for a combined total of £23,769 at Vectis Toy Auctioneers in Stockton to side. Mr. Stevens, who still has some 10,000 items in his collection, said, I was one of the children who queued up to see Star Wars when it was first released in 1977, and it had a tremendous effect on me. I began collecting everything that I could get my hands on connected to Star Wars, and I have kept going right up to the present day. Valua Kathy Taylor said, We do get a lot of toys here which make big money, but this is the first Star Wars collection that we have ever had that is of this caliber. Secondly, on the foreign scene, Ghostbusters funeral lineup confirmed. Nightlife comedians Leslie Jones and Kate McKinnon will join them in Ghostbusters, Fage announced on Twitter. Fage, who also worked with McCarthy in 2013's The Hit, went on to confirm it will be released on 22nd of July, 2016. Harold Ramis' death last year appeared to make it an even unlikely prospect, with Ray Manuelli himself out as director last March. Fake's involvement also gave new impetus to the project, as the Rightsmates director revealed to Entertainment Weekly last year. Ghostbusters is such a great thing and everybody knows it. He told the magazine, it's a shame to just let this thing sit here. My favorite thing to do is work with funny women. I was like, what if it was an all-female cast? That would be real fun. 